In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to solve a system of linear equations using a method called elimination. So you may already know how to solve a system by substitution. Great. One method is not always better than the other. It depends on the problem that you're given. So the example that I'm going to walk through with you right here is a perfect example of exactly when you should be using elimination instead of substitution. And I'll show you why. When you have a system where the coefficients of either of the variables are opposites of each other the way they are here. See, I'll have a four for the X in the top equation and a negative four for the X in the bottom. If you see that scenario, that's when it would be much easier to use elimination than substitution. So I could solve this system using substitution, but as you know, one of the variables has to be isolated for me to do substitution. In this example, neither variable in neither equation is isolated. So I'd really have to do some work to get one of these variables by itself. I'd have to subtract. I'd also have to divide by the coefficient. So this method of elimination or linear combination is going to be much easier for me. So here's what it means. You're just going to add or subtract the entire equation on the top with the entire equation on the bottom. Okay. And the purpose of doing this is to eliminate one of the variables very, very quickly. So when I look at this equation, the reason or the system, I'm sorry, the reason I'm looking for opposite coefficients is because when you add opposite coefficients together, you get zero, right? Anything plus it's additive inverse, it's zero. So they're going to cancel out. So I'm going to add these two equations together. All right. Every term with its like term right below it. And one thing that's important before you start is make sure that your equations are lined up in the same exact way. So you see how my equations are X, Y equal sign constant. It doesn't have to be that order, but it has to be the same order on the top as it is the bottom to make it easier for you to add correctly. All right. So we see opposite coefficients. We're going to add these together. Why? Because when I add four X and negative four X, I get zero X, but zero times any number is just zero. So these two guys cancel out and I have, eliminated one of my variables already that quickly. We're going to continue. 8y plus 2y is 10y equals 20 plus negative 30 is negative 10. Now I have a one step equation. I'm trying to get y by itself. Y is being multiplied by 10. So I'm going to do the inverse operation, which is to divide by 10 on both sides. On my left side, my 10s cancel out because 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1 times y is just y. And on my right side, negative 10 divided by 10 is negative one. And just like that, I already have the Y value for my solution for this system. So now what I've done is I've rewritten one of my equations from my system. So you can see the original system on the yellow paper over there. You can choose whichever equation you want for this part of the, the solving. I chose the top one because why not avoid that negative, right? I feel like when there's negatives and fractions, we are more prone to make mistakes. So let's choose that prettier equation up top, but you could have done either one. The rest of this process is very similar to what you would have done for the substitution method. So once you have one of the coordinates of your solution, all you're going to do is substitute that back into one of the equations to find the other one. So I have the fact that Y equals negative one. So I'm going to go ahead and use that fact and substitute Y in this equation with negative one, right? Because I found out that's what it's equal to. Everything else in this equation is going to come down is exactly as is. And I'm going to solve for X now. So if I evaluate this part right here, eight times negative one is negative eight. So I have four X minus eight equals 20. I've got a two step equation. I like to get rid of addition or subtraction first. So I'm going to do the inverse operation of minus eight, which is plus eight on both sides. That leaves me with four X. These cancel out because they equal zero equals 20 plus eight is 28. Now I have a one step equation four X equals 28. I want to get rid of that four, which is being multiplied by X. So I do the inverse, which is to divide by four. And when you divide by four on both sides, you're going to get X equals seven. Now you've got your X value, you've got your Y value, and you have your solution of the system, which means that if these two lines were to be drawn, they would intersect at the point seven, negative one. Okay. I am leaving you guys with your practice problem. As usual, the answer will be in the description of the video. Check your work. See if you got it right. If you did awesome job. And if you didn't, as always, feel free to ask for help. Um, there will be another video that shows you how to solve systems where you don't have this nice scenario of opposite coefficients. So if you'd like to see that, watch the next two videos.